As I look around to see where the dangers are, and if he looks the right way, you'll see Commercial Express making good ground up on the outside of Luxor. Then comes Stark Raven, Jabo, Rose of the Hill, up the Marine. As they turn in with three to jump, it's Badger Foot. Pops over that, six lengths clear from Commercial Express in second. Luxor jumps in third ahead of. As they're down towards the second last. And it's Badger Foot and Peter Russell's colours. Well clear. Slight mistake by the Commercial Express. But down towards the final fence and Badger Foot. He's all out at the moment, being closed down by Commercial Express. Down towards the final fence, Badger Foot. We've been slower, but Commercial Express is making ground all the while. And racing on close home, Badger Foot in the hands of Craig Nickel. Up towards the line, it's Badger Foot going to hold on from Commercial Express. It's going to be tight, but just possibly Badger Foot from Commercial Express. Tight for second, third between. On the near side, Luxar, and the far side, Stark Raven. And they're well clear of Road of the Hill, Chapel, up the Marine, and finally, Fleetwood Mark. Badger, Badger Foot, Foot, who's gone to the front, to the front now. now. Badger, Badger Foot and Stephen Fox, Fox gone on. on. Two lengths clear, clear from Gunner Jack, Jack up on the outside of Bristol Place. Place. Then, then comes not left, left yet. yet. Another, Another rum. rum. Jim Dons is weakened, coming up the hill and finally almost blew. Race downhill and on towards the third last, and it's Badger Foot, about three, four lengths clear from Bristol Place. Gunner Jack back in third now. Seems to have his work cut out here as they approach three out. It's Badgerfoot. Stephen Fox jumps at two lengths clear from Briscoe Place. Darrell Miller the challengers now. Gunner Jack a further four, five lengths away. Third. Then comes not left yet. Another run almost blew and finally Jim Dawn. Swing round at the bottom end of the course. Swing into the home straight with two faces left to jump. And it's Badgerfoot. Stephen Fox committed to going on. on. Six, six lines clear, clear now, now down towards the second, second last. Badger, Badger Foot, Foot comes out well. Six lines clear from Bristol Place. Then comes Gunner Jack being on again. In third, down towards the final fence. And Badger Foot still. About six lines clear down towards the final fence. And it's Badger Foot coming well in the hands of Stephen Fox. Down towards the final fence. Six lines clear from Bristol Place. Then comes Gunner Jack being on again. In third, down towards the final fence. And it's Badger Foot coming well in the hands of Stephen Fox. Down towards the final fence. Jumps into the well. It's being gone through. Badger Foot from Bristol Place. Now they're going to see the final fence. Badger Foot. It's in game print, the length clear from Badger Foot. Over the fourth last, the better jump there from Badger Foot. It's up to the quarters of in game print, and they've gone on some 15 lines clear now from not left yet. Race downhill and on towards the second last. And it's a match up front between in game print and Badger Foot. Turning into a good release, and it's Badger Foot who's maybe just gone on from Indian Print down towards the third last. Badger Foot from Indian Print. Little to choose between the two. The race is really on, and they pull well, well clear from not not yet. Back and third. Swing this 
turned it to bring them into the home straight. And it's Badger Foot and Jamie Little going on all left clear from Indian print. As they swing in with two fences left to jump. Badger Foot on the outside of Indian print. Down towards the second last. Badger Foot touches down a length clear from Indian print. As the race on towards the final fence and there's John Watson seeds sponsored men's open race. And it's Badger Foot and Peter Russell's colours gone on three, four lengths clear from Indian print down towards the final fence. Badger Foot jumps up well and racing on close home it's going to be Badger Foot who's going to give Jamie Little his first winner. And up, and up towards, towards the line, the line Badger Badger Foot and, and Jamie Little will take the John Watson seeds men's, men's open race from Indian, from Indian print to second, second and not, not let the edge be pulled up, up on the line. To say. And with the advantage, is it's a cliche, but for the outside Badger Foot, he's stalking his every move and has taken a narrow lead again, coming towards four out. Badger Foot, a good jump, an accurate jump towards the outside. And it's a cliche. Three lengths away to Tiger Billy, who could still play a big part in the finish, and they've cleared right away from King's Envoy. So three of them in with a winning chance at the top of the lane. On the right, it's a cliche approaches the third from home. Badger Foot on the left now. He's just niggled along. It's a cliche now coming under strong drive in towards the inside and four lengths away to in third Tiger Billy. There's not much in it. Badger Foot on the left. On the right is it's a cliche as they now come down towards the second last. It's a cliche on the right was just ahead of Badger Foot as they now race on towards the final fence. A good battle up front then between the leading two. In third is Tiger Billy who hasn't got much more to give. It's Badger Foot at the near side. Of a very gay list for cliche. Here's the final fence coming up. Last jump, all important. And Badger Foot won the battle. It is Badger Foot who goes on out by a length and a half. In second position, it's a cliche. But Badger Foot has the acceleration which is required. Oh, I'm going to go for a with a first win on a first ride of a point to point. Good effort. In second position, it's a cliche here in third Tiger Billy. King's Envoy coming to the last and is over. Well, complete football. If they're still from the pair, uh, once they come back into view, they are Badger Foot by a length to Nick Willis. In third place, Dane Goldwell is three lengths away. Rosh Italia a further four lengths away in fourth place. We'll be doing well to win from there, the favourite, as they take four from home. Badger Foot, good lead from Nick Willis. In second place, Dane Goldwell in third, being ridden along by Tom Hamilton to the outside. Trying to reinvigorate Dane Goldwell, and he's coming right through to lead. Now. And Dane Hill's well has taken over, approaching the third from home with Badger Foot of the company. Nick Willis a close third. Walsh Atelier is trying hard to close in. And they head to three out. Badger Foot on the outside of Dane Hill's well. A gap opening up from some three or four lengths to Nick Willis. Walsh Atelier is only plodding on at the moment. And they're clear of Stormy and that crafty monkey. And Badger Foot seems to have seen off Dane Hill's well on the turn back end. Towards the second last, Nick Willis closing on Dane Hillswell in second place, and then Walsh and Talia, Badger Foot is clear by four lengths, approaching the second last, Badger Foot and Connor Wood from Dane Hillswell on the inside again, Badger Foot went wide round the bed, not helping the rider, Walsh and Talia is trying to close in, it's a strong player, he's been running the best of speed, Badger Foot is the last of the real lengths lead, Walsh and Talia approaching the last, Badger
as they reappear. And now the race begins to turn on. This is going to become some contest as they come down towards the third last fence. Fence at the top of the hill. And still the looks like Badger Food slightly in the lead from Milano Magic. Much closer order now as they reach the highest point of the course and swing right handed and begin to make their way down towards the cross fence for the final time towards the 18th of the 19 fences in this Turk and Coral Five Fox House Hunt members, subscribers and farmers race. Badger Food who has led throughout still takes the advantage into the second last fence. Clear up and over, and Connor Wood beginning to give some more encouragement to his horse as he takes the corner back into the home straight with under two furlongs still to go. There's only one obstacle now between these horses and the judge, and it's Badger Street in the red and blue, and Milano Magic on the inside in the blue and white chevrons as they come down towards the 19th and final fence. And Badger Foot still up by about a length and a half or so as they come racing up towards the judge. Badger Foot, who's made this a contest all the way from the start, is led from start to finish up towards the finishing line. Badger Foot takes the opening race and Milano Magic in second and they were the only two who took part this afternoon in our opening race the Turk and Connell fight Foxhounds, Hunt members, subscribers and Farmers Race.